Another massively popular Battle Royale game has been gifted to us by the angels over at Respawn Entertainment, and Ooh. we don't deserve this. Whether you're a fan of the genre or not, honestly, it's worth trying at least once. I'd be willing to bet once you queue up and pick the coolest looking character, you make your first skydive and your team of three disengages in unison and you land on the ground all superhero style. <laughs> that you will get shot in the face immediately. <laughs> now, I have only played for a little over an hour, and yet I find myself constantly on the game's subreddit or watching YouTube videos because I find the game to be so well made. I could go on forever describing my appreciation for the intensive attention to detail and all the TLC put into this game, which is why I challenged myself to make a song using exclusively sound effects from Apex Legends. More specifically, a little segment of a song, a short beat, using only only audio found in the game. Now, I did allow myself to use audio effects to tweak the sounds to my liking, but otherwise, everything used in this beat is derived from samples in Apex Legends. Starting off, I wanted a kick sample for my drums. I found this explosive sound. I should just pick up this dude up. Featuring the voice of one of my teammates. He did pretty good that game. Thanks, guy. I shortened the length of this sample and gave it a really tight fade out. Next, I just EQ'd out some of the high ends and emphasized a little bit of the low ends, put a sausage fattener on it, and that was my kick. Next, I moved on to my snares. I found this really interesting futuristic hitbox sound, I think. On my snare, I did pretty much the same thing that I did with my kicks, where I shortened the length of the sample, I then EQ'd it, and I flattened it, so then I was left with this. However, I wasn't satisfied with just one snare sample, so then I went to looking for a second one. I then found this sound effect. And again, shortened it to my liking, added EQing. I then stacked the two snares on top of each other, and then laid them out alongside of my kicks, so now my percussion sounds like this. So now we have a little bit of a beat going. To finalize this and keep the ball rolling, I wanted to top it off with some hi-hats, which was played by the part of this sample. Catching myself up. So it sounds like there I was healing myself in game, and I like this little chunk right here. I sampled the hi-hats accordingly, I then raised them up by 11 semitones, added my audio effects, and laid them out in this pattern. So now my percussion sounds like this. So I have a simple drum loop going, and now I moved on to the part that I'm most proud of, which is the chords. There was this exchange of bullets in a firefight I was in, and it sounded like this. So I actually took this sample, and I added a lot of reverb to it. After lowering the volume of this sample, I then flattened it, and put it into a sampler, so I can play this sound effect as an instrument. At which point I came up with this chord progression. While that's sounding pretty nice, I then topped it off with a lot of audio effects. The most notable being a compressor, OTT, to kind of bring the sound out a little bit, make it more exciting, and some side chaining so that the layer of percussion can stick out a little bit better. I then duplicated my layer of chords and shifted that by an octave. So then now together my beat sounds like this. I then went to working on my layer of bass. Now I found this sample in game. I felt like this had potential, so I sampled it, and I noticed that it really emphasized stereo sound. It was going from your left ear to your right ear. I didn't really want that, so I flattened it to mono by using a utility. I then lowered the note, shortened the length of it, and added an EQ8. This is fairly important because it really drastically limits the frequency range of this sound. 
The next step then was to put that on a sampler in Ableton so I can play it as an instrument. I took the bottom notes of my chords and I added some audio effects, notably being a Camel Crusher, Sausage Fattener, and OTT, and this EQ8 to only focus on the low ends, as well as some side chaining, which now makes it sound like this. So now overall my beat is coming along pretty nicely and it sounds like this. Now finally let's wrap it up with a speed round here. It's just kind of miscellaneous effects that I liked that I kind of threw in the mix here and there. I'm not going to go through every one of them, just trust me, take my word for it that all of these are found in game. I think one of the most notable however is this sound effect that I found that I turned into this layer. Putting it all together now, here is my final beat made only using sounds from Apex Legends. And there you have it. That was a lot of fun to make. I actually really enjoyed that. I was pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. If you want to listen to more music shenanigans stuff that I create, feel free to subscribe to this channel, or you can check out my, I don't know, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. You know, I do music. I release it. It's out there. Go yeah, listen with your earballs or whatever. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope you had a good time. I'll see you in the next one.